Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get the uh, Microsoft games from Windows 7 in Windows 8. Now these were taken out by Microsoft and uh, a lot of people were mad that uh, we could not play the old uh, classic card games uh, in Windows 8. And there is a way that you can get them back and I'm going to be showing you how you can do that uh, in this video. Now you will need a uh, Windows 7 PC, and I, I cannot provide the files uh, from uh, from Windows 7 for you because of uh, copyright reasons. Um, but uh, if you have a 32-bit uh, Windows 8 PC, you need to have a 32-bit Windows 7 PC, and if you have a 64-bit Windows 8 PC, you need you need to have a 64-bit uh, Windows 7 PC uh, for the files to. Uh, you know, uh, match up and you know just work. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm going going to be showing you what files you need. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to your uh, Windows 7 PC, whether if that's a physical PC or if it's a uh, virtual machine. And you're going to want to find the uh, following files. You want to go to your uh, C drive. You want to go to uh, the Windows folder. You want to go to System32, and you want to find CardGames.dll. Let me find that here. Yes, right here. And you want to copy this over to your uh, Windows 8 machine. And then you want to go back to your C drive, go to uh, the Program Files folder, and you want to go and find my, the Microsoft Games folder and copy this entire folder uh, over to that Windows 8 PC. And the, this folder contains all of the games that are in Windows 7. And this will allow us to obviously run them in uh, Windows 8. So now what you want to do is you want to go back to your Windows 8 PC. And you want to uh, take the Microsoft Games folder. And you want to put it in the C program files and just drag and drop this in here. And you want to click on continue. If it asks you for any like user or uh, administrator or password or anything like that, just want to click on continue. And it's going to copy over. You want to go back to the Microsoft Games folder and take this cardgames.dll file, drag it into the Spider Solitaire folder. And you want to uh, mouse over this and press Control C to uh, copy it and go back. Go into the uh, solitaire folder and press Control V to paste it. Go into the uh, hearts folder and do the same thing, Control V, and the free cell folder. And uh, you have to do it this way. I'm not really sure why, but that's what the uh, many forms that I've read uh, tell you to do it this way. So we're, we're just going to do it this way. It works perfectly fine. Now, if you notice, if you try to uh, run one of these files, nothing will happen. And that is pretty much because that these files, uh, when they are run, uh, they perform a Windows uh, version check. And they are checking for the Windows 7 version. So obviously they're not going to run, but there is a patch, which I will uh, have the link to uh, down in the video description. And you can uh, download this and it pretty much changes what version that these files check for. Now, Windows Defender or whatever other uh, antivirus software you have, may flag this as like a you know uh, false positive like it's a like you know a malware threat or something like that but as the form reads it's not it's a false positive and uh, if you're not willing to uh, believe that then you're not going to be able to get these games to run uh, so you just want to uh, run this you want to click on yes now, as, as you see, uh, Windows Defender has flagged it as potentially harmful software. And uh, pretty much all you have to do is just click on the patch button. And that is going to uh, apply the patch. And you will see it doing, you know, like a bunch of stuff. And it'll say patching done. So th then you can close this. And you will notice that it has created a uh, solitaire.exe.bak file. And this is the... Uh, old version before it changed it to work with uh, Windows 8 so this one is just you know like a backup in case something went, went wrong and you will notice that the dates uh, modified has been changed to uh, 
today, which is August 7th, uh, 2013. And if we try to open this, it will now work perfectly fine, as you can see. Just like in uh, Windows 7 here, go to the uh, About menu. And this does say uh, Windows 8 version 6.2, so you know, this actually, uh, you know, figures out that it's running on Windows 8, which is, you know, that's, uh, th that's kind of cool. And if you want, we can, you know, take this and pin the, the start menu and now, you know, have it, yeah, it's right here. So, you know, if you want to just have easy access to it, you can pin it to your taskbar, you know, just like you would normally do. You can put it on your desktop, you know, like whatever. It's just uh, a quick way to get these old games running again. And for whatever reason they were taking out, I'm not really sure why. Uh, but I know that a lot of people were just kind of mad at Microsoft for doing that. And uh, I am pretty much one of those people because I don't know why they would do this. But but yeah, guys, um, thank you for watching. Uh, if this helped you, uh, be sure to like the uh, video. Uh, and also be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.